So there's questions that we get often about what is the best way to apply a fluoride varnish. So we recommend applying it to as many tooth surfaces as possible. That for sound enamel to benefit from the fluoride, it really needs to be in direct contact for uptake of that fluoride. When it comes to applying varnish, um, a very common question is how I apply it and uh, where I apply it. And I always think back to when I was um, in school and the very first week we use a disclosing solution. And so often we see the clean surfaces of the teeth and we see the areas where the, for, for example, where plaque likes to accumulate. And those are on the contoured parts of the teeth. And when I'm applying fluoride varnish, I think if there's an area that's going to be demineralized early or have problems the earliest, it's usually not those clean surfaces, those flat surfaces. It's more the pits, the fissures, and these, these contours, the areas where the, the teeth contour that are going to hold the plaque. So that's going to be the area that's going to be the most vulnerable to problems. Uh, if it's just only in there for a couple hours, that's very transient. The tooth can only uptake so much calcium and phosphate with the fluoride, you know, at any given time. When it is right up against the tooth, the uptake is very high. It's going to actually be therapeutic. It's not going to be uh, something that's just washed away quite quickly. There will be some benefit to demineralized enamel by having the fluoride in the saliva. However, for enamel that is not demineralized, it's best to have direct contact. Therefore, when you're applying the varnish, try to coat as many surfaces as possible.